really with my dad, you know, in a, in a Jeep and kind of got the bug for off-road then. Ended up racing the trophy carts in the Lucas Oil Series. It was really cool, you know, thinking that my dad's putting all this work into it and making the car so fast. I got to just hop in and drive the thing and, and hopefully make him proud out there. Moved into a Razor in the Work Series. It was a lot of hard work that went into it, but we never really knew where we would end up, you know, at the point now where it's my actual job and career. Now I'm racing best in the desert. It's my second year. You know, never really thought I would actually be at this point, but here we are. At first it was just here in the trophy cart days. We had one little cart and it was me and my dad wrenching on it. And now eventually here in Glendora still have our shop and we've got our house right here where I live. Right behind me, you got the garage and the, the shop really, um, where we work on everything, get it all done. This is where we're, you know, running our race team out of. So my dad's story kind of is a lot like mine. He just got into it a little later. In the 80s, I started going up to Azusa Canyon and four-wheeling up there, kind of hill climbing, mud, that type of stuff. My buddy John Bundrant said, let's go up to Johnson Valley. I've heard about something called rock crawling. We went up there and just happened to see some Jeeps coming down Jackhammer, and, and we said, we've got to do this. So I turned my Land Cruiser into a rock crawler. He started turning his Forerunner into rock crawler, and just started going. The first competition up there was in 1999. It was the Warren Rock Crawling Championship. And uh, we entered it and did good and started going. I competed all the way to 2004. And well, then when the Polaris came out, started competing in those in 08 or 09. And from then on, I, until now, have won six UTV championships in, in that. We're getting ready uh, this week for the Silver State 150. It's in Nevada, uh, Cali NA, Nevada. One cool part about it is it's a newer race. Um, they haven't ran it in a few years, so it's kind of new to everyone. It's definitely one you got to have the car prepped and ready. Last race, we hit a rock pretty hard, so it bent up the frame a little bit. So before we put the transmission in, heating it up so we could press down the metal get the transmission in. I'm just judging it based on this over here. Like this is pretty flat yeah. right here. Having Curtis around uh, has been awesome. Our parents went to school together. So we've been family friends forever. They were going to the races with us and we thought, you know what? You know, Curtis enjoys it and goes to the races. So why not, you know, have him come help and see if he wants to help Mitchie. So when we started the Best of the Desert series, it was kind of a no brainer to bring Curtis in and have him co-drive with me. Uh, we've been, you know, riding together in the desert, having fun forever, so. Kind of started off green. He didn't know a whole lot of anything about razors, and uh, Mitchie kind of taught him his way. Now he's great, he can pretty much do everything. Two years ago almost, he started with Best in the Desert, and he needed a co-driver and a lot more help. I guess it turned into me doing the co-driving, helping them work on the car and stuff like that. It just turned into, a full-time thing, pretty much. Oh, now he's working for us, and he's one of the biggest, he is probably the biggest part of the team, having him around, and he knows how to work on the cars, wrench on them, uh, co-drive, and, and even drive them, too, if he had to, so. When you guys got here, uh, the kind of the whole rear end of the car was pretty torn apart. From the last race, we had to bang out the transmission plate that kind of covers that and protects it. Got that thing banged out, and as soon as we did that, we were able to uh, mount up the transmission, get that thing in. Racing really is nonstop and uh, wrenching on everything and all that is a lot of hard work. And what I always say is 95% of the, of the work is actually working on the car, preparing for the race, and then maybe the other 5% is actually driving the thing. Me and Curtis are in there and he get the job done and, and know what we're doing, but usually at least a couple times a day, I got my dad in here and I'm asking him some random question on some random part. That's one of the coolest things is having our shop here and having, you know, the master master behind everything that taught me everything I know. He's a few steps away and could bring him in there. And I, I love being in the shop, seeing what's going on. He doesn't like me in the garage, I can tell you that. He doesn't like me asking questions. He doesn't like me telling him anything. So I kind of have to back off pretty far and just observe. And if I see something later, maybe I'll tell him, hey, what about this? 
throughout the year in Best in the Desert, we have usually eight to nine races, somewhere around there. So after every single race, the car gets torn completely down, almost, you know, to the chassis, or it's like, it looks like a skeleton in there. Me and Curtis get in there, and we've been doing it for so long, working on these things. We, we both know what to do and know what to do on the car. So uh, it gets torn down, and uh, everything goes out to where it needs to go, uh, shocks, drive shafts, transmissions, whatever it may be, and uh, also, things that need to be fixed get fixed or need to be changed get changed. It's definitely a lot of stuff and every single nut and bolt needs to be checked on the car and that's that's what we do and that's where we feel we kind of get a little upper hand on other teams that don't put in that type of work. Day didn't go quite as planned. We thought we'd get a little more work done and have the car totally ready by Monday night, but uh, unfortunately we didn't have it so we kind of just called it a night. We were a little worn out from a full day of work and so we figured we could get some rest and get back at it in the morning. So the next morning, we didn't have too much to do. You know, we finished the panels up on the car, skid plate, um, got the tires on it, and then rolled it out. We got the alignment checked uh, in the rear end, checked the front toe and everything, and loaded it up, chase truck ready to go, and headed out to Barstow. That's kind of our, our main test spot. It's only, you know, 100 miles away, so hour and a half drive probably. It's a nice little area. Uh, you know, you got nice little mountains and stuff and some cool trails, so. I like to go. Um, I don't know that I'm necessary there, but if something goes wrong, you know, maybe I can figure out what it is. Mainly, I just like to watch the car, how it's working, give my input. He gives him his input to me. I, he actually likes me to go on test days. So there's two, two or three main things we're really looking for is testing the clutches and making sure um, the RPM and like the power band is correct for the elevation we're actually gonna be racing at, as well as testing out the shocks for the course we're gonna be on. A lot of the times we know how rough each different course is gonna be, so we test, the, test and tune the shocks to, to make it perfect for that course. It kind of has everything you need to go test. It's got, you know, long straightaways, a lot of nasty whoops, which the trophy trucks go out there and test all the time and hit. And uh, it's kind of the, the big spot for everyone. So a lot of times before a race, you go out there and see a lot of the teams you know. Um, uh, we usually go out there with Walk Revens and test our shocks out and just shake down the car before every race. That was basically like the shakedown, so make sure nothing Nothing falls off, we didn't forget anything, so it's good to go. So now we test out the shocks, uh, make any changes, and hopefully everything should be good to go. With the Best in the Desert series, sometimes there's, you know, 12 hour long races. So keeping a car together for that long really takes a lot of focus and uh, a good driver and co-driver. So that was a big part of it, as well as the competition is just insane. Uh, we're seeing car counts of, you know, 100 cars in one race. So being at the top level of that really takes a lot of, takes a lot of work, like I said, and um, being at the top, top level and winning races really is tough. So we had the Mint 400 earlier this year. That's probably the biggest race of the year. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that. And that was a huge race and we actually led it wire to wire and won by 20 plus minutes. Being able to get that win at such a young age was, was really cool, and uh, hopefully we can get some more. A lot of our success is due to our friends and family. We can't do this without friends. I mean, the desert racing takes multiple people to chase, multiple people at the track to help and build a car up between pits. My wife, of course, she is behind the scenes that does probably 50% of the work that nobody ever sees or, you know, she doesn't get credit for. We may over-prepare, but I think it's a good thing. You know, the last race we took three trucks to Vegas to Reno, and that takes a lot of people to, to do that. With desert racing, there's a ton that goes into it, and having a good car, like I said, is one of the, the biggest parts. So started out with the Razor um, XP Turbo, four-seater actually, um, helps in the desert with the whoops and things like that. So. Built that up uh, with Lone Star Racing. They built the whole chassis and then got tons of components from a lot of sponsors that really kind of bring it together. There's just so many people that make so many components on the car that once you get all those different brands together, it really, really makes an awesome car. 
Polaris has been with us since the very beginning and we definitely wouldn't be racing without them. And Walker Evans Racing, they have been behind us since the very beginning and a few more. Going into this race, every race is important, but this one definitely is big because uh, we're, we're looking for a points championship. So points are very close going into this one. So this is a, this is a big one. You wanna win every race you can, but at the same time, finishes are what really matter. And you know, if it means finishing top five, top 10, um, that's really what we're looking for and keeping that points rolling uh, into the next couple races and hopefully in the end, getting that championship. Thanks for watching this latest segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more awesome content, feel free to click any of the links on the screen or subscribe to our YouTube page where we update daily with great content on a weekly basis.